Hello students. So we have been discussing um, uh, thermodynamics and in that I, if you remember um, right in the first lecture I said that essentially we are discussing uh, the working substance. Uh, our system is always that of a working substance. Working substance is a substance which we need uh, in order to convert energy from one form to another. We might also need it to transfer energy from one point to another point. Uh, but right now we will focus on the first function that is conversion of uh, energy from one form into another. And here we are interested in converting heat into work. So one such working substance uh, that is used in thermal power plants is steam because heat is given to water and which is transformed into steam and that steam acts on turbine blades and you get work. So heat is converted into work because of steam or water and steam. It is it's the same substance, different phases. So I am going to begin, so we are going to discuss properties of steam. It is a very interesting topic and I would start with an uh, experiment which uh, I, I believe you were exposed to this in 8th standard, 9th standard, I do not know when, but it is an experiment probably you have come across. Uh, Let us um, uh, let's imagine that we have a flask, a beaker in which there is water and uh, this water is being heated. Let us say we heat it, uh, we place it on a burner and we are heating it. So when water is getting heated, there will be a point at which it would start to boil. The moment it starts to boil, we remove this heater and place a piece of cork in the neck of the beaker. Okay? And the moment you remove the burner, uh, heating source away from water, the boiling will stop. And when this happens, what we do, we invert this. We invert this and then, uh, so there will be water here, then what, hap what we will do is we will pour cold water on this, cold water. When we pour cold water, what happens? What would happen? What you will see? This is a glass beaker, so you can see what is happening inside. So what will you see? Remember what has happened? You started heating the water, water started boiling, right? Water is starting boiling. When it starts boiling, that means initially there will be vapor formation and uh, in a slow rate and then water, entire body of water starts boiling and at that moment you remove the uh, burner. And then you put a piece of cork in the neck, invert this, uh, the water will be here and uh, remaining thing will be occupied by the vapor and then you are pouring cold water. Now uh, so when you remove it from the burner, the boiling has stopped. Okay? So when you put the cold water on it, I want you to think what will happen. Right? Uh, you might recollect this experiment which you might have performed or have read about. If not, I want you to imagine think hard and uh, answer this question. What will happen when the cold water is poured over it? I will give the answer in the next video. Thank you.